I need to talk to you. Becky, you're the worst. Donna, I'm really not in the mood for whatever this is about to be. Too bad. Okay. I can't believe you'd consider taking Roland's dirty money instead of just asking me for a loan. Roland's money doesn't come with attitude and judgment. That's all you, Becky? My entire life, all you've done is judge me. My intelligence, my choices, my friends, my husband. No, you owe me a damn apology. I'm supposed to apologize because you partied more than you studied? Because you were friends with a bunch of slutty alcoholics? Apologize because let All right, well, maybe I shouldn't have told you to not marry him. As I was walking down the aisle. Yeah, it was messed up, but he's boring, and I knew that you could do better. You don't think I know my husband is boring? But unlike you, he actually likes me. You think it was so easy for me, but you had the good grades. You had the cool friends. You had mom and dad's attention. All I ever wanted was for you to like me, and instead, you rejected me. I just could never live up to you. And it was okay, because I admired you so much. You admire me? <laughs> Look around. You are doing exactly what you want. This is all yours, and even if it comes crashing and burning tomorrow, at least you can say you followed your dreams. You're a boss bitch, Becky. Thank you. Donna, I swear I'm gonna be a much better big sister. I know. I'm not really giving you much choice. We now have a standing Wednesday dinner reservation at the Fulton. Fulton, I don't really like seafood like that. Oh, I think you're gonna learn to love it. <laughs> so bossy. <laughs> Just like you. I'm sorry.